मेरा सवाल आपसे है कि जब पहली बाहुबली आई थी तो शिवलिंग लेते हुए प्रभास के हाथों में हमने देखा था इस बार हाथी के ऊपर वो वार करते हुए नजर आए थे फर्स्ट लुक में तो ये किसका आइडिया था और इसके पीछे क्या वजह थी अगर आप शेयर करना चाहें उन्हें हिंदी आती है पिछली बार से ट्रेनिंग हो चुकी the resemblance between uh, that and this uh, uh, prabhas shivudu carrying the uh, shivling and using prabhas on the elephant is that both of them are the introduction scenes of the uh, of the hero so uh, i am expecting that uh, the kind of goosebumps that shivling scene has given to the audience in the first part i am expecting the same should be happening with the second part as well and prabhas and nana aapke uh, friends ya family wale is trailer ke bare mein kya keh rahe hain kyunki unhone dekh liya hoga ye trailer abhi tak well uh, they pretty much had the same thing to say like what you all have to say uh, it's, it's it's obviously overwhelming and we're very very blessed to be part of this film prabhas if you want to say something yeah 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 my friends and uh, family were like very very happy like some people almost like got tears and we almost saw it like now this 20th time and me and rana still feel getting the goosebumps and um, i feel like we should thank raj again for this film karan ab apne master touch ke liye jane jate hain to is film mein bhi koi aapne input diye 2 ke liye aapne meri film mein dekhi hai aapko lagta hai ki koi input main diya hoga is film mein meri koi jagah nahi na aukad hai is film mein input dene layak bas naam dete hain bahut badi baat hai karan aur anil thadani ji here here ji here ये जो फिल्म है बाहुबली जो पहली बाहुबली थी उसने सिंगल थिएटर्स को रिवाइव करने में बहुत बड़ी भूमिका निभाई तो इस बार आपको क्या लगता है कि सिंगल थिएटर्स में ये फिर उससे भी ज्यादा धमाल मचाएगी या फिर देखिए आई थिंक जैसे मैंने कहा पहले ही जब मैंने इंट्रोड्यूस की फिल्म को मुझे लगा कि हम बहुत प्राउडली कह सकते हैं कि द मोस्ट एंटिसिपेटेड फिल्म इन इंडिया टुडे इज़ अ फिल्म नॉट मेड इनहेरेंटली इन द हिंदी लैंग्वेज बहुत गर्व की बात है कि देर इज अ पीस ऑफ सिनेमा मेड इन आर कंट्री विच वर ऑल्सो प्राउड ऑफ दैर इज रेजनेटिंग अक्रॉस द कंट्री सारे देश में जैसे धमाका समझ चुका है हमारे इस फिल्म की वजह से तो मुझे लगता है कि चाहे वो सिंगल स्क्रीन हो या मल्टीप्लेक्सिस हो इट्स अ पैन इंडिया फिल्म और आई थिंक फुल क्रेडिट टू राजा मौली सर कि उन्होंने एक ये एक पूरे हिंदुस्तान के लिए नहीं विश्व के लिए ये फिल्म बनाई है और जिस तरह की पेशकश है जिस तरह की प्रेजेंटेशन है जिस तरह की इमोशनल नैरेटिव और कहानी है आई थिंक ये हर जगह हो ये चाहे वो सिंगल स्क्रीन हो या मल्टीप्लेक्सेस हो हर ऑडियंस के लिए बनी है फिल्म तो रिवाइव तो हम नहीं जानते क्योंकि ऑलरेडी काफ़ी रिवाइव हो चुके हैं बिकॉज ऑफ ऑल द वेरियस मूवीज रव इन मेड इन द लास्ट कपल ऑफ ईयर्स लेकिन इतना जरूर कह पाऊंगे दैट दिस इज हेडिंग टूवर्ड्स अ हिस्टोरिक रन एट द बॉक्स ऑफिस दैट आई थिंक शो यू हाई राजा मौली सर स्ट्रेट ओ यर first of all congratulations for the trailer uh, so you know in today's time very few films manage to get a solo release but bahubali is not just getting a solo release but also two weeks free run so what do you have to say about that do you think the massive success of first part has played a big role in this yeah uh, 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 many things play uh, play a role in achieving that one uh, one i would uh, uh, as you said is the uh, is the massive success of the first part Uh, which people wanted to uh, uh, see owned the film and they wanted to see the film so so automatically there is so much of interest around the film so uh, we are getting a solo release and also it is the planning of uh, 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 anil ji and karan ji that uh, uh, that we are getting that we uh, had to solo, do nothing sir <laughs> the first film did everything <laughs> nobody is arriving <laughs> with bahubali <laughs> karan sir aapke samne here ha ji aapke right मेरे राइट जी आप या अमित फ्रॉम दन का अभी भी मैं प्रिटेंड कर रहा हूं कि मैं आपको देखा है मैंने नहीं देखा <laughs> कहां हो आप दिख रहा हूं मैं हां अभी दिख रहा हूं जी हां ये सवाल था कि आ, जो हिंदी फिल्मों के डायरेक्टर्स हैं या फिल्म मेकर्स हैं वो इस स्केल की फिल्म में कंसेप्चुअलाइज कर सकते हैं क्या जी जरूर कर सकते हैं उन्होंने किया नहीं है लेकिन 
कर सकते तो पोटेंशियल सबके सबके पास है लेकिन अभी तक किया नहीं है हुआ नहीं है आई थिंक कि डेफिनेटली बाहुबली ने बहुत सारे ऐसे आई वुड से आई थिंक अपॉर्चुनिटीज हिंदी फिल्म इंडस्ट्री को दिए हैं एंड दिखाया है कि हम ये कर सकते हैं और बड़े पर्दे पे ये ये कमाल दिखा सकते हैं एंड आई होप कि इस सीरीज के बाद लोग और भी ज़्यादा इंस्पायर हो जाए मैं कह सकता हूँ अपने प्रोडक्शन के बारे में मैं बात कर सकता हूँ बहुत ही ऐसे जवान निर्देशक हैं मेरे कंपनी में जो एक्चुअली बहुत इंस्पायर हुए हैं बाहुबली से एक्चुअली हर कोई जो नया है और नौजवान है और जिसकी नई आइडियाज और एनर्जीज हैं वो सब बहुत इंस्पायर हुए हैं एंड आई होप दैट दिस ट्रांसलेट्स इनटू मच मोर सिनेमा ऑन दिस मैग्निफिसेंट स्केल जनरली फिल्म मेकर्स आर वेरी सेल्फिश एंड दे वांट टू मेक मैक्सिमम माइलेज ऑफ एनी फिल्म बट इन स्पाइट ऑफ द फैक्ट दैट बाहुबली हैज बिकम सच ए मैसिव हिट ऑफ द सेंचुरी यू नवर thought of selfishly making three or four parts instead of coming up with bahubali the conclusion in the second franchise itself that one question and number second question is will you ask anil thadani to release the bahubali part 1 again so that people who have missed out very few to catch up with that and then see bahubali 2 Now we'll. Uh, the second question we'll now ask now itself says, "Are we going to release yes, a part?" A week earlier, we are planning to release the film. Thank you. We are planning to do the same in the uh, southern states as well. We we want to do that. Really, the first part, uh, one week or two weeks earlier, whichever is the best thing to do, so that uh, people, uh, uh, yeah, like you said, I, I I think very few people missed on it. But just to uh, get them back into the uh, into the uh, narrative. i thought uh, we thought we will release it in the uh, release uh, uh, the first part again and uh, uh, sir i am very very selfish i am not an unselfish unselfish man i want my film to do well i want my film to gather lots and lots of uh, money but the uh, same time we also know uh, now uh, uh, it's not good to kill a golden goose you know uh, uh, we know how to extract the maximum out of it it doesn't mean killing the killing the goose but and also to add it the films the story which we started is going to end with bahubali part 1 and part 2 but the world of bahubali is not going to end uh, we are going to continue uh, in comics or novels or or virtual reality films or tv series or animation the world of bahubali is going to continue for the fans to enjoy uh, mr rajamouli this was actually uh, that you answered part of my question which was uh, whether it's going to be a franchise uh, is it going to be a movie franchise because you know given how much we are now competing with hollywood and uh, you know the big hollywood franchises uh, does it make sense for you know a hugely popular story like yours it lends to a really indian uh, movie franchise have you thought of that uh, uh, actually ma'am see what i really really believe is that we should have a very very good story yeah. at the at the at the uh, uh, at the base that story should drive us to do anything whether it's a film whether it's a virtual reality <coughs> film whether it's a comic whether it's this thing whether second part third part 10th part or whatever or ending the film there itself it is a story that should uh, drive everything not the market we should first find the story then create a market for it see what's the market try to enhance it but just because the market is there we try to push something which doesn't have soul i don't think it will last long <laughs> <laughs> one question to prabhas prabhas did you break your bones this time no Uh, last time you were like yeah, you know yeah last time so what was your experience this time with the, all that uh, stunts <laughs> and actions you know yeah actually this time rajmouli took a lot of care of me like uh, actually like he planned very well and even the action scenes we had a lot of action scenes but still uh they he edited the action scenes before uh, and uh, everything most of the film and i think second part was much 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 more comfortable and rajmouli especially took lot of big care yeah thank you uh, prabhas uh, prabhas beech mein uh, rana ki film aayi thi the gazi attack aapne bhi kuch hindi ya bollywood ki filmon ke liye plan kiya hai ya kuch scripts pe baat chal rahi hai agar aap share karna chahe yeah if something like that i'll let you know next time when we meet <laughs> uh, rajamouli sir yeah uh rajamouli sir uh, After the release of Bahubali One, a lot of trolls were made on social media as to why Katappa killed Bahubali. So, what was your reaction initially, and did those trolls create a, any pressure to you know focus more and make the second part more larger? Uh, uh, the amount of trolls that you get uh, 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 on your film is directly proportional to the craze that you have on the film. That is what I believe. So the whether it's good or bad however people discuss if the people are discussing a lot about your film that means that it's made a lot of impact on them 
so that is how i how i view it no it doesn't create pressure it gives me a lot of confidence that my so many people are going to watch my uh, my second film on the on the first day of the release it guarantees openings we have last two questions ladies and gentlemen okay i want to ask one more yeah, again about figures but different uh, different kind prabhas and rana uh, you have fantastic physics on the screen. Is that computer generated or is it for real? And how will we know? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm serious. I'd like to know. Well, I had no job. Both of us had no jobs for about five years except training and looking like what we look in this film. Ma'am, it's not computer generated. It's, it's human generated. It's, it's pretty real. You, Prabhas? Yes. Also, I'm speaking for the oh, both yeah, of us. <laughs> for him. All right. So, uh, Raja, okay, sir, we a have question to you here. Yes. Raja, sir. They need proof. You need proof? <laughs> the 28th of April, ma'am. <laughs> All will be revealed. Raja, Pun sir, intended. on your right, Raja, sir. <laughs> sir, right here. Sir, we saw the trailer, second trailer. Raja, sir, you're right, on your right. Yeah. Sir, there's a scene which is similar to Hercules, sir. Uh, Dwayne Johnson, where he's coming with the open arm and the bows are coming to him, sir. So, uh, there are a so, few more scenes also that have been similar to another movie. So there is a scene in the uh, in the trailer that has been he's standing with the open arm and uh, bows are coming to him. So it's the same scene from Hercules, uh, Dwayne Johnson. Sir. So you felt like Did you feel like that? So kind of, sir. You kind of. So yeah, you watch the film and let me know. See, when we make war films or when when we make any kind of action films, and there are so many shots like arrows coming, bows bows shooting arrows, or horses coming, or elephants coming. It's the same kind of war. War is the same. How you put your shots through it. Uh, is matters if you think one one arrow shot is looking like the same thing here uh, uh, i feel funny actually answering that question uh rajamali sir okay that's the last yeah. question ladies and gentlemen uh, okay i have two questions uh, okay. first is rajamali sir uh, the tamil version of the trailer was leaked so would there be any kind of measures that you would be uh, taking to battle piracy you know when it comes to the movie release there are two things here. One is leakage and one is piracy. Both are completely different. Uh, uh, piracy happens when someone, uh, after the release of the film, someone captures it in one mode or other and, and puts it online and, and uh, uh, make money out of it or, or they don't, whatever. That is piracy. Leakage is something when during the film, some, someone inside the, uh, inside the crew, someone inside the studios or someone uh, uh, captures and puts it on the social media or on or, or whatever platform just to the fun of it. Both are completely different. And this particular thing is neither. It is some technical glitch in the, in the Facebook. The video which is supposed to be in the private mode uh, uh, went into public mode. We still exactly don't know what is, what is the reason, but, but, it, uh, uh, but it changed the plans. But anyway, we are happy with it because the kind of uh, response that we, uh, we got, uh, uh, we are very happy with it and fans are really, really happy because I always tend to postpone the date. I always tend to uh, come later and that I came uh, much earlier than, <laughs> than what I said. They are quite happy about it. So uh, all is well that went well. My second Thanks. question is oh. to both Kairan and Rajmori, sir. The attack which happened on Bansali, sir, you know, again for the second time. Do you think it's sad that, you know, filmmakers in today's time have to face these kind of attacks often and there's nothing that one can do? Um, I have gone on record and spoken about what happened with Sanjay and uh, it's deeply saddening to me as a filmmaker, as a human being, as a citizen of our, of our prestigious and wonderful country that we have to kind of endure something like this and my, my thoughts, my support and all my ideologies are with Sanjay. Uh, it's deeply saddening, what do I say? Every time I read um, something like this, it really saddens me. And, there's, and I feel like we, on our, on our level, between the Producers Guild, we've sat down, we're all in support with Sanjay and his entire cast and crew. And I hope that adequate measures can be taken, that something like this would never happen to another filmmaker again in our land. Uh, I completely agree with uh, uh, Karan on, on that one. Uh, 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 any artist, filmmaker or not, a musician or a writer or anyone, uh, he should be have, uh, whether that's good or bad, we, we don't know yet. First, first thing is we don't yet know what, what uh, Mr. Bansali is going to present. And even whatever his presence is not in tune with uh, the people, uh, uh, people's thoughts, uh, he's, a, he's an artist. He should be a, able to express his views. Uh, uh, the freedom of speech is, is uh, one of the fundamental rights of the people of this country. He should be able to express, any, any filmmaker, any artist for that matter of matter, should be able to express his, his views. 
uh, I have a Thank question. I have a question. Th yeah. Current towards your left. Th ladies, thank you. <laughs> thank you. I'm very well. Thank you. Uh, I'm doing very well and the babies are doing really well. Thank you so much for asking. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, on that note, I'd like to call this to a, an, an end and thank you so much. From the bottom of our hearts, the entire cast and crew of Bahubali and all of us in Mumbai, I really thank you for your enormous presence. And oh, w one Here, second. Mr. Karan Johar, uh, from Mr. Rajmoli and team Bahubali, we have probably the most iconic piece from this film that we want to present to you. Oh. So please, this is the sword that Kattappa killed Bahubali with. Oh! Okay, so now I know what my kids are going to inherit. <laughs> Beyond my equity as a filmmaker, it will be this sword which will be worth a huge amount, I think, in years to come. This is amazing. Thank you so much.